it as a beautiful expression in German called Filmriss. Filmriss, when a film ruptures during projection yeah. and then the screen goes black. It is a Freudian term for the loss of consciousness. Well, that's wonderful. Because painting is like a film risk. Yeah. It is as if suddenly you lose consciousness and all you see is blank whiteness. When I gave the eulogy on Andy's death, I stressed the fact that Andy was a Catholic who went to Mass every single day of his life. Nobody realized that. And that so much in his work, including these disaster paintings, comes out of that. The whole repetition of Andy's imagery stems, of course, from the fact that he's a Catholic, he goes to church every day, he goes to confession, he has to do 10 Hail Marys, 20 Ave, Ave Marias, and all this is reflected in the way his imagery is done repeatedly again and again and again, as you can see in a disaster painting. So the disaster images are like the rosary beads yes. that, you, that you use during prayer. Yeah, to ten Hail Marys. You do it again and again and again. And then you have to leap ahead a few years but to, to get those late religious paintings, yes. which make much more sense when you see them in the context of these early yes. disaster paintings. Yes. And then it's all sort of coherent because people say, why the hell has he gone religious on us? He'd always been religious. John, you said something really interesting about Andy being the eye of the storm. I was thinking of a friend of mine, he used to love going out when there was a storm, and she had no fear of this. She would sit out the storm right at the center in complete stillness, and there was chaos going on. And I think that's what Andy was all about. I mean, here was Andy at the center of all this horror, I mean, the horror of modern life, the, the disasters that were happening. And Andy was unaffected. He felt this, he sensed this, but he wasn't one of the victims of it. Of course not. And so he could, by virtue of being in the eye in the storm, he could see it and he could transmit his feelings into these amazing images. And he himself stayed and still. And he stayed absolutely still. And I think that's what Andy is about a, a great deal of the time, but specifically in the disaster paintings. Was he easy to get to know when you met him? Nobody ever got to know Andy. Mm -hmm. He was very easy to be around, except there was no good expecting great flashes of conversation, of enlightening remarks about mm -hmm. his work. I mean, it was always, gosh, wow, gee. I mean, it wasn't much more than that. Andy simply kept quiet about what he was doing.